Hello, everybody. It's me, Joshua Hayes, here at BigWaveTrading.com for March 11th. We're going to do the stock market wrap-up here. MCHP, by the way, before I change, just to let you know that's a nice-looking possible bottom chart right there. So that's kind of a good chart. But really, for part one, all we do is focus on the indexes. I want to let you all know to please go check out the longs and shorts page. We do have one new speculative can slim long tonight. And we do have one new short. Please keep the short small and please keep the long small because, just because. Subscribers, you'll know what I'm talking about. I just don't want to give it out there for everybody. But just to let you know, it's good that we have a play both up and down, hedging our bets, cut our loss fast on the one that doesn't work, stick with the one that works. However, What's been working recently has been longs, and that's been good news. As you can see, the past two days, the New York Stock Exchange has been up and even more bullish on the very, very, very short term, not anything else. The NASDAQ's been up for two days. However, I want everyone to know that a true follow-through is not what Jim Cramer called it tonight on his show. This action... Up 0.13% on the New York Stock Exchange. How much was it up on the Dow Jones? Less? I think it was less. Yeah. 0.06% gain. That's not really a follow-through. A correct follow-through comes in between is but comes on the fourth to tenth day after the initial rally day, which would have been on March 6th. One, two, three. One, two, this would be the fourth day right here. So this is day one that it can happen. And to have a follow-through day, you need to have at least a 1% price gain. We have that on the NASDAQ. Oh, no, we didn't. Up 0.98%. Close enough. Let's count it. Let's just, let's just count it. And that means that that's just day one because here's the reversal day, not even an up day. So this is day one. This is day two. So NASDAQ hasn't even gone three days yet much less the fourth day, to actually have a true follow-through day. So anybody that's saying that today's a follow-through day, they don't know the technical definition based on price and also based on volume. See this chart here in the middle? Volume bars? Okay, volume was lower than the day before. And volume was lower than the day before on the New York Stock Exchange. For a correct follow-through day, volume must be higher than the day before. Don't remember what a correct one looks like? Let's jump back to 2003, shall we? Here's New York Stock Exchange in 2003 on the downtrend from January to March. And here's the NASDAQ's downtrend from January to March. Notice something different about this downtrend to the current one? Let's look at the middle window here. See the yellow volume, 50-day volume average? See all the volume bars below it? On the way down, do you see the two green bars above the yellow line? How many red bars do you see above the yellow line from February to now? None? Correct. So there was actually accumulation on the way down, right? Correct. Now, was that the same on the New York Stock Exchange? <laughs> Obviously. Look at that. Besides the first initial three selling days in February, you had complete accumulation in the downtrend. One, two, three, four, five days compared to all the volume on the sell days below the 50-day volume average. As you know now, going to now, right now, look at the volume on this downtrend, New York Stock Exchange. Look at the volume on this downtrend in the NASDAQ. What's different? See the big, tall, heavy volume bars? Let's go back to 2003. See all the big, tall green bars? And with the no big, tall red bars? Now let's see what happened as people got bearish. Do you think anybody right here was talking about a potential bottom? Let's zoom out. We've been in a downtrend since the March top in 2000. One year. Two years. We're three years into a downtrend of 74%. Do you think anyone was calling a bottom then? If your answer is no one was, you are correct. Right now, though, everyone's talking about a bottom. Normally doesn't work out. 
Now in March, let's t see March's follow through day. This would be day one of the rally attempt. Let's go look at the New York Stock Exchange now. Ugh, still a down day. Let's go look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Nice reversal though, intraday. See the big tail? Ah, the Dow Jones Day's up. So it's day one, technically. Only one it's not is on the S&P 500. And that's off just barely. S&P 500, oh, S&P 500's up. Only the New York Stock Exchange, excuse me. So uh, basically everyone has an update. Day two of the rally? Oh, a big up day on big volume. Well, how much is it up, by the way? Day one, 0.43%. How much is it up on the big up day? 3.45% on the S&P 500 and 4.81% on the NASDAQ. Wasn't the NASDAQ up a whopping 7% yesterday? And wasn't the New York Stock Exchange not up only 3% but up like right around 6%? I think we all know the answer. So obviously... The out-of-control buying yesterday wasn't so out-of-control back in 2003 for the S&P 500. Now, let's look at the third day of the rally attempt. Oh, Kramer's follow-through day on S&P 500. On the New York Stock Exchange, I assume, also for him. The Dow Jones Industrial Average and the NASDAQ, probably. He'd probably call it, and even though it was a down day, down 0.03%, but it'd be holding in there, so it's a follow-through day. However, this is not a follow-through day. What is a follow-through day is on the 4th to 10th day after the rally attempt, which would be starting tomorrow, March 15th, 2003. Remember, we're in 2003 right now. We're not in 2009 when we're doing this. Here comes day four. Boom! Up 3.88% on huge volume. Is that up 7%? No. No. New York Stock Exchange, up 3.07% on stronger volume. Is that 6%? No. S&P 500, 6%? No. But higher volume. So on the fourth day, we have a real fall-through day on higher volume on the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, and even, heck, let's use Kramer's analogy, the New York Stock Exchange we'll use. Because we'll call this an update. So now you can see all the follow through days and see what it really looks like in 2003. What looks much bigger now than during the downtrend? I got to see how much time we have left in the video. Hold on. Oh, plenty of time. Good. Look at how big the volume is now compared to the downtrend. Now that you see the follow through day and see what happened in the NASDAQ after that, I'm actually going to do hold shift down and press my bracket arrow to go out five days. Hold. Starts to go up higher on what? Big, tall, green volume bars. Look at this. Pulls back, holds the 50. Goes up on big, tall, green volume bars. And it continues. Continues. Goes below the 50. Do we sell? Uh, no, because volume is not higher. Volume is lower. So it's a perfect test. We go higher and higher and higher. And finally, at the end of the year, everybody decides to turn bullish. Because I remember this, mind you. And then we have our blow-off top in 2004. And then we start a small downtrend. Everybody gets bearish again. Then we get bullish. And the game continues to be played. Now let's go to today, what today looks like. And I'm going to ask you, does today, does this look like what I just showed you in 2003? Does the downtrend look like 2003? Does the rally and follow-through day, which it isn't, look like 2003 on the NASDAQ? The New York Stock Exchange, the Dow Jones Industrial Average. I think we know the answer. The answer is a resounding and loud no. Now, before I wrap this up, let's look at the SOX index. Up 2% today, as you can see, maybe trying to bottom with the NASDAQ, as you can see, as they both have positive relative strength lines. But let's go ahead and move off the indexes and go, and let's look at platinum. I had a bullish day today. Let's look at silver. I had a bullish day today. Let's go all the way out on these. There's silver, there's platinum, there's gold, matey. Right there, taking back the 50-day moving average. Very nice, very nice of silver, very nice of platinum. Is the United States dollar nice? No. Very disturbing right here. Dollars rolling over, market is, not, is moving up, not like in 2003. And is actually rallying on lower volume than what was in the downtrend, as you can see here by the NASDAQ. So, 
Be careful out there, everybody. Watch what people are saying about being getting long. This is definitely the bottom. The put call, I believe, is at 0 0.64. I'm going to show you a leading index really quickly, actually. Look at the IBD 100 daily chart. Yesterday, it barely went higher. Went about 1% higher, like the IBD 85. Let's go look at that. IBD indices, 85, 85. Barely was higher, then down. Look at the weekly chart. Is that bullish? No, my friends, it is not bullish. It is not bullish at all. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up there. This is Josh from BigWayTrading.com. We have three more videos tonight for my subscribers.